So what's all this talk about pentatonics? What are they? What are they for? And what do we do with them? Well, that's exactly what I'm going to tell you and show you right now. Hi, I'm John Liefman. A pentatonic is just a five note scale. That's where it gets its name, pentatonic. Now, there are all kinds of pentatonic scales, but the one you want to learn, the one you want to be able to play first, is the minor pentatonic. Now, that's probably a pretty familiar sound to you if you listen to a lot of rock and roll or blues or lots of different styles use minor pentatonics. An A minor pentatonic scale, for example, is made up of the notes in an A minor scale. But to play a minor pentatonic, we take out a couple of notes. We take out the second note, B, and we take out the sixth note, F. And we just play the rest of the scale without those two notes. Those are the five notes, and then play the octave on top. Now, how do we play that scale? Well, in this example, I'm starting on the fifth fret of the E string, so I'm playing the A there. Now, remember, we said we're going to skip the second note, so we're going to go up three frets and play the C, which would be the third note in our minor scale. Then we're going to go back to the fifth fret on the A string and play what would be the fourth note in our scale, the D, up two frets to what would be the fifth note, E. Now remember, we're going to skip the sixth note. We're not going to play that F. We're going to go from the E up a minor third, or the equivalent of three frets, and play what would be the seventh note in our A minor scale. And it's an easy shape to learn. It's consistent on the A string and the D string. When we start on the E, we jump up three frets. Then on the other two strings, we jump up two frets. That's your minor pentatonic. There are other fingerings and other shapes that you could and should learn. For instance, you'd want to start with your pinky, say. Same notes. It's just good to be familiar with all the different shapes and as many ways as you can play those five notes all over the bass as possible. Now, sticking with just those five notes, again, this example is an A minor pentatonic, so we're going to play nothing more than A, C, D, E, and G. We may play them high, we may play it low, but I'm going to play nothing but those five notes. And here's an example of some of what you can do. In all of those notes, I played nothing other than those five notes, the notes in an A minor pentatonic scale, A, C, D, E, G. Now, the really, really cool thing about the bass, one of the really, really cool things about the bass is its awesome consistency. The bass is tuned in perfect fourths all the way up and down. It is symmetrical, which basically means if you can play something anywhere on the bass, you can pretty much play it everywhere on the bass. For example, we were playing an A minor pentatonic. Suppose I wanted to play a G minor pentatonic. The point I'm making is the shapes are exactly the same. The relationships between the notes are exactly the same. 
the way we move our fingers is exactly the same. Suppose I want to play an F minor pentatonic up high. And up high and down low. <laughs> Again, when you learn the shapes, you can play them anywhere and everywhere. That is your minor pentatonic scale. Learn those shapes, stick to those five notes in whatever key you're playing in. And again, that awesome consistency on the bass is really going to help you. If you learn something, say, in one key, and you get together with the band, and the singer can't sing it in that key because it's too high or too low, and they have to sing it in some weird key, not a problem. What if they have to sing it in E flat? Most people will go E flat, but you'll go, oh, E flat, yeah. Not a problem. I've got all kinds of tips and tricks for learning bass, so be sure to subscribe to this channel. And I've got a three-part video series called Bass Groove Basics that you can get right now totally free. Just go to forbassplayersonly.com forward slash BGB, Bass Groove Basics. Meanwhile, try these minor pentatonics, try them down low, try them up high, try them in all kinds of different keys, and let me know how you make out. I'd love to hear from you. I will see you right here, same time, same place, next week. In the meantime, let's play bass.